morning from a small town here in southern France called Boussens, Bouza, not really no, sure. No, 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 wait, wait. Save your mind. Oh. <laughs> Wave to the camera, Sham. From campsite to campsite, and like proper hardcore adventure riders were not taken into a hotel. Good morning from Ribes de Freser. Hardcore adventure riders having a bare bones breakfast. Heading east for the coast after, after a meal. So we need to put up like a sign here, room out of service for the rest of the year because this place is contaminated with uh, lots of different flavors, I guess. Smells of adventure. <laughs> Smells of adventures, exactly. We should start a group called Smells of Adventure. Oh, no, no, no. Smelly Adventure Riders. G7 starting right up. I appreciate her faithfulness. Even though she's a heavy girl, I do appreciate her. Things can quickly come to an end. One of the riders went down, broke his foot, his left foot is pointing all the way to the left. And I'm here in this junction waiting for the ambulance so I can guide them to where we are. We went to a pretty remote place without reception uh, along the Tet here in Spain. The, the rider luckily is okay besides his foot, didn't smack his head. He's without pain this far. So I guess we will go, all go to Barcelona and see what happens from there. So we gotta get Shem's bike to Barcelona. We have a rider on his way. Bike wouldn't start. Or well, it would start in neutral, but didn't want to go into gear. So we have a professional at work here trying to bypass the side stand sensor because in gear it doesn't want to start. There he comes, the Polish legend, the king of the mud. Well, All right, so a little update on our end. The trip is kind of officially over. We decided that as a group. Uh, it wouldn't be right to continue on, just the two of us. Uh, we, Yeah, but it is what it is. Uh, luckily, uh, it was only a broken bone in his foot and not the ankle itself, so we didn't need a uh, operation, but he's in a cast. So we are on our way to the hospital to pick him up. Uh, we have some medicaments for him and um, yeah i'll be staying in barcelona for a couple of days and uh, it's all a matter of um, attitude i guess this was unfortunate but i'm happy that he didn't properly crash and broke something more uh, more important and i will get to explore barcelona with jairo here and it's yeah it's a silver lining to everything that happens in life so i'm still in barcelona and i'm Heading north or starting my way north tomorrow morning. Uh, happy that Jairo could lend me uh, somewhere to sleep so I could rest. And now it's time to get the trusty old steed ready for the way back home. I will do some chain 
tightening as you can see also give it some lube and um, oh, there's mud in every <laughs> crevice here I will also change the air filter I have a spare one pre-lubed under the seat and then I think She's all ready for the way back home. I decided to postpone my trip home with one day and uh, I have a full day of exploring to do here in the outskirts of Barcelona. I'm very happy and, and makes me grateful for Jairo and his girlfriend Inessa. They are taking good care of me. They, I, I have a place to sleep. They are feeding me, which you can imagine is not very easy. So I am around here walking in Barcelona in my Merino base layers and Crocs because that's everything I have. I'm on the way to the beach to see if I can, yeah, probably get a swim in. And I'm also very happy to report that the guy who broke his leg, Shem, is safely back home in the UK. So all in all, everything considered, it all went well in the end. As I am walking the beaches of Barcelona, I can't help but laugh. You know, just three, four years ago, I was stuck in a nine to five job. Well, not technically, I was working as a police officer, so it was during the night as well, but the work, it owned me. I had no energy, I had no spare time. I was stuck. And uh, yeah, I'm no motivational speaker, but I am a true believer now that I'm walking here in a completely foreign land, having ridden in the Pyrenees with two strangers, that life can be interesting if you allow it to. Yeah, it's uh, a... <laughs> what a strange life. It's awesome. It, it, yeah. To quickly get things back to Earth again, as I'm walking the beaches of Barcelona, I'm also getting ridiculously sunburned. You see, I'm the kind of guy who will get sunburned and then apply sun cream later in the day. <laughs> Barcelona is still asleep with a full moon above it. It's four o'clock in the morning. I just couldn't sleep any longer. Time to head north. As you can see, I have taken into a hotel room here in a small French town called Masiak T7 is resting out there in the backyard as you can see the weather is excellent almost too hot again as you probably can tell by my eyes I woke up very early this morning and I have had around nine, nine hours in the saddle made good progress on my way home to Norway uh, tomorrow I reckon I'll be in Germany perhaps and then the final leg on Monday or so yeah transportation on motorcycle isn't the most fun thing that's for sure as a guy from Norway with a Norwegian license plate I have to admit it's quite exotic to ride here in France and see a sign that says Paris yet I'm here eating at the most globalized restaurant in the world at least I'm having French fries now this is what I call an adventure ready hotel room i am in belgium libramont is the city and uh, yeah final night before i board the ship romantica on my way back to my hometown and home country uh, i've put the gps to only back roads so no highways today around 10 hours of riding through excellent scenic french countryside which was really joyful uh tomorrow i have around five hours and then i am where the ship sails from i guess with the amount of hours i had to spend on the highway i am happy that i had people like mark Knopfler, jim morrison steve ray vaughn to keep me company i am in emden northern germany and i have once again boarded the ship romantica that will take me from emden to my hometown of christiansand the trip is officially over 5200 kilometers this trip this adventure included everything highway miles single track no track mud sand gravel 
twisty back roads, it had everything. And I'm happy to report that the T7 didn't have a single hiccup, a trusty adventure companion. And finally, thank you from the bottom of my heart, Shem and Hyro. You two are extraordinary guys. You are beautiful people. I'm so happy and so honored to now be able to call you my friends. Till next time, thank you very much. And thank you for watching.